let's give it some gas. Yeah, we're all over the place, no traction. But now that we've gone back to the stock OEM converter, I'm like more in love with the car than I ever was before. Here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Over the past couple of weeks, if you did not know, well, now you do. The Mustang has not been in my garage, the twin turbo Mustang that we have built. Turns out we had some problems with the Circle D big stall converter. We'll elaborate a little bit more in detail on what we found since I've sent it back to Circle D. They tore it open, what they have discovered, but we now Finally, yes, you can see it right back here. Boom, we have the Mustang back home with a built transmission. Right there is the new hotness. I like the look a lot better. I think most of you guys would probably agree, but this is the official look for now until we change things up in the future once again. But coming to a track near you, yes, we're gonna finally be able to beat that 9.7 at 148 mile an hour and a quarter. But everything looks pretty much like it did before. Anderson Composite's hood looks really good on this car with the race red. Uh, same with the spoiler. Sitting in the garage is a Lethal Performance exclusive double H pipe from Corsa. Only can be bought at lethalperformance.com. Again, links in the description if you want to check that out. Use those codes, save you some money and free shipping or whatever it offers. But that video is going to be coming probably at the end of the week. So stay tuned, hit the notification bell, subscribe. But it's time to quit rambling, go for a drive, see how the car feels with the OEM stock converter and the twin 6467s from Hellhorse, their twin turbo kit. Let's go. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Big intercooler there, twin turbos underneath. Let me know in the comments also, what do you think about this combination of wheels? Do you like that with that? Overall, I don't think it looks too bad, but it is a drag pack at the end of the day, so honestly, who cares? But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think about the car? Let's sit here, look at this car all day, but we want to know how it drives. Let's go. Woo. There's, there's the office. Let's hop in. Let's go to work. She's nasty, she's raw, she's fast. A little bit noisy in here, the whole race car life. Never mind that check engine light. It's gotta do a crank relearn on the car. I've been giving it a shot. I've been a little bit unsuccessful trying to bring the revs up. So if you've ever had to deal with that, the car is giving a P0315 code. It's not hurting the performance or anything like that. It's just a, a light, but it just needs a crank relearn. Doesn't seem to hurt the car from what I've been reading on the forums, but just something to, I need to do later on today is try to figure out how to get rid of that. But um, now we're off. Already in boost, look at that. Barely even touching the gas. So that's my first thing that I noticed when I got behind the wheel after the transmission has been fixed. Huge thanks to Johnny, he is here local. He's in the Bowling Green, Kentucky area. If you are local to this area, maybe in Tennessee or Kentucky, and you want a transmission guy that can build one of these Tenerites for an attractive price, DM me on Instagram or leave a comment down below. I can set you up, save you guys some money. The guy is really good at what he does. But I tell you, going back to the stock converter, it's so smooth. It feels like the power comes on like faster. You don't have to wait for the load. Now, this might hurt us on the track. Video coming soon. Uh, we're gonna put it to the test. How does the stock converter with the 2064-67s compare to a bigger stall like we had before? But speaking of that stall, 
what ended up happening now it's a circle d 258 and what it was doing when we tore the transmission apart if you don't know is that the bushing inside of the converter which is kind of like a soft aluminum we think it's maybe too tight it needs to have a little bit more play because with the big stall when you're stalling it up at the track for example it's creating a lot of heat but interesting i got a phone call from circle d just the other day and when they split the converter in half they noticed that the internals were actually broken it's not a very common thing uh I, just my luck i guess you know it is what it is so the good thing though is that they're going to fix it under warranty for free send it back and all will be good to go but that's why when we've been racing that we've been unable even in second gear trying to second gear leave we've been unable to stall up as high as we've been wanting to <laughs> The symptoms of what was happening, according to the conversation I had with Circle D, is just that. Uh, slow shifting, loss of power, clunking around, everything that I was experiencing was a result of basically a broken converter. So they did ask about the horsepower we were running. Look how fast we're going into boost. I'm barely on the gas and we're already in it. Before, it felt like the transmission was slipping a little bit, which is what it's going to do with a big converter, but on the street, it makes it a little bit more unpleasant to drive. What I've noticed now, just with the few miles we've put on it since the transmission rebuild, is that the power, it's coming on faster. The transmission is, is going into power with the twins a little, a little faster. Uh, let's give it a test. So it's pulling me back in the seat and I'm like on and off the accelerator there. Crazy how fast this is now compared to the way it was. We don't have to wait for it to like basically lock and then do all the things that the converter does. Again, like I said on the track, this might hurt us. But on the street, the OEM converter with the twin turbos is... I swear it's like the answer. Not everybody's going to want a big stall for the street. I get that. Um, that's more of a race car thing, but I tell you, with the new clutches from McLeod, um, I'm, I'm a lot more confident that the transmission is going to be able to hold the power that we want to put down and it's going to be ultimately more fun. But now that we've gone back to the stock OEM converter, I'm like more in love with the car than I ever was before. everything that I ever wanted out of this car. This is everything I ever wanted. Because we first put the twins on, we immediately put the stall in there. And I liked it, but I'm telling you that I'm in love with the car once again. It is a completely different experience, completely night and day. And I've got the boost turned moderately low just for traction. The tires, ET Street R's that I've got on the back are about done, but we're gonna see how well she hooks up and how fast we can go through the gears. But as soon as I give it gas, it's already, it's like it's OEM, but just with more power. Let's give it some gas. Yeah, we're all over the place, no traction. But that's how fast it's coming in. So let's give it a roll. on the floor that's crazy that is silly speed <laughs> that was about 70% throttle just trying to judge if it's gonna break loose or not I'm on a front runner too so honestly you know going to the front runners I thought that it was gonna handle a lot worse than it did because we don't have a front sway bar up front we deleted that with the BMR uh, K member so we don't have a front sway bar we're now on a 18 by 5 with uh, some 26 inch tall tires, but it seems to handle still pretty good. It's pretty loose, but it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be, which is a huge, huge positive. So I'm gonna let traffic, let's give it another hit and see what she does. We gotta roll into the speed though. We're still way too powerful for the street. I'm on the floor. faster than it was before the reaction so when you're shifting with a 10 already it's going to shift up high in its power band so the initial impressions between the two converters 
I think is really just how long it takes, how fast it reacts. So the converter needs to, you know, it's kind of loose and then it locks up and then it goes and when it shifts the next gear, generally you're good to go and it'll act just the same. But that initial hit, when we first give it gas, when it's at a low RPM, because especially turbos have to, you know, depending on the size, may have a little lag, there's a lot less of it now. It's going into power a lot faster. This car already feels blisteringly different. I'm not gonna say I'm scared, but I'm definitely a little bit more cautious. The way that it's delivering the power, I love it. We Remember, we have a new valve body, so I wanna let the, uh, the car kinda learn. It's a pretty smart, intelligent system, but the new valve body uh, gave us a bit of a fit trying to get everything to, to sync up. You gotta have basically IDS. Uh, so you gotta have like a Ford technician or something on standby. We'll take it to the dealership, but. Wow. So that was 8.7 pounds. That's nuts. That's really fast. See how the downshifts? <laughs> it's so much more aggressive. Whoa. Oh, that was a big thump. Railroad. I love it. Great combination wins with a built transmission oh, you cannot beat it hopefully i have enough for video here i'm gonna go home we're gonna compile it edit see how it looks but i've been having too much fun because the car is so wonderful at this point it looks great it's coming together it's fast it's powerful it feels faster than it ever has before yet to be confirmed on track if we're actually going to go faster we are chasing low nines, guys. Uh, nine seven, according to the conversations I've had with some of you guys on the forums about the converter, the old one, and also with Circle D, is, is that we were experiencing a whole lot of slip, a lot of slip. So you can actually hear it if you paid attention in the old videos. You guys can actually hear it kind of just slow shifting. It's why you can... actually hear the exhaust and it's not like it doesn't know what to do it's confused but now the car seems to know what it's doing again <laughs> it's great i love it please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new i think i said that like 90 times already because we're just out here having a blast gonna get taken to the track here soon but remember this week at the end of this week get ready because we're gonna hopefully have out the video the double x pipe versus the double h pipe Will that sound different? I think it will. Will it perform different? I don't know. We're going to take it to the dyno here soon and confirm that as well. But it certainly will sound great with a twin turbo system because, well, they all sound different with twins. That's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe. Have a great day. God bless. Until next time. See you later.